Welcome to the Frog video tutorials. Uh, this first tutorial will, will cover logging in, um, using the dashboard, what the main areas of Frog are, what your ePortfolio is, and what your profile is. Um, logging in, you want to go using Internet Explorer to um, frog.finnandpark.co.uk um, and log in using your normal login for your laptop. The first page you'll hit, or the home page or, or dashboard of Frog, uh, has three main areas. The first of which is personal, which is the one we're on currently. There is classroom, which has um, various links to things pertaining to your classes or your subject. And finally, the staff room, which has anything whole school, such as the notices, um, booking resources, um, forums, etc. Um, the person layer, which is the one we had first, has anything related to you, so your marking, um, your emails, your own files, etc. Um, as I said, this is our, it's our dashboard, and we have various things on the dashboard. We have um, some kind of hot links at the top here in the middle. You have various widgets, um, so for example on the right hand side here, you have the Google widget here. You've got the My Files widget on the right hand side, the Staff Notice Board widget in the middle, your Time Tower down the bottom. Um, your college or sixth form notices area here. And on the left hand side you have your feed and your kind of um, which will reference things that your frog friends have said or if students have sent any messages they'll be here on the left as well. Um, so what the first thing we're going to do is going to actually going to add a widget to your home page. If you press edit page in the top left hand corner we're going to add an unread emails widget and you'll find that on the second page just here of the frog widgets under utilities and there's various there's, there are copious amounts of widgets so do have a look through um, it's in the second section of these widgets and it's called unread emails um, and I can just literally click and drag and put that in I recommend you put that at the top and if you want to move around any widgets you can if you want to remove them it's just the, the red cross here in the top left hand -hand corner of each widget um, save and close from the top left again when you're finished and that will retain that every time you log in it will always be the same. Um, the next thing I'd like to show you is your ePortfolio just from the yellow bar at the top here. Your ePortfolio is your personal area on Frog. Um, no one else can access this area. Anything you put on here will only be accessible by you so pupils will not be able to see it. Um, I've uploaded various files um, through use some pictures, um, a few a few test pages, an Excel file, etc. Um, so that's your ePortfolio. I'll cover uploading files to that in the next tutorial. Um, so let's go back to personal here. I mentioned um, Frog Friends and your profile. Um, on the left hand, hand side here, just under the My Feed section, you have a profile button. Um, you can change the status if you need to, press change status there. Um, please bear in mind that your status will be accessible to everyone. Um, students and, and teachers alike, so um, just bear that in mind. Um, you can press the profile button just down here to the left and you can upload a picture if you wish. Um, very simple, just press edit or upload picture down the bottom here and you can choose a file in your area. Um, to get pictures in here you can only use pictures from Frog, you can't use them from outside of Frog, so I will cover uploading files now. Um, back to personal and you want to go back to your ePortfolio again to upload files to here it's quite simple you say new and then file and it'll ask you where you want to upload the file from so I select the file I'm just going to use one of the um, standard pictures from here so Set any file. You can multiple select files if you hold down control so I can upload more than one picture at once. So I've got those four there. And press open. And they'll load into here. And I press upload files here. And we'll upload each file in turn into Frog. This could be anything that don't have to be picture files. Um, so if you'd like to have a go uploading some files to Frog that you think would be useful to have access to, that would be great. And once they're finished, I cancel the last one there. Once they're finished, you can press close, and they will be accessible just here in your e-portfolio.